I think that it's, it's important to distinguish between the interests of the Republican Party and the interests of the North. Um, the North was dominated by the Republican Party, and certainly in the early part of the 1870s, um, many Northerners joined their regional interests with the interests of the party. But um, the North was undergoing major changes uh, with a larger infusion of immigrants who would become the laboring class, um, with the explosion of economic, of, of, of the economy, uh, changing the economic structure of the North, um, with a surge of migration westward for the, for the, for the possession of, of all the land that had been opened up through the Homestead Act. Um, the issue of, of black suffrage um, became less important to, to Northerners as we headed more into the, into the 1870s. In one sense, the Republican Party wanted African Americans to have the right to vote, and it was politically expedient for the party to see blacks in the South use the vote. At the same time, Northerners were becoming disenchanted with the Republican Party, the Republicans, lead, the Republican, the party leadership, and they were beginning to get a little impatient with the issue of race problems in the South. They began to see it principally as a problem that the South should solve for itself. And many were beginning to wonder whether, whether, they were, whether they had it wrong in wanting to free black people. So there was a change of attitudes during the 1870s.